and girls, after reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, we are now going to make our own caterpillars today. Uh, we're going to start out with a long piece of paper, and we're going to start out with a circle. Now, we're going to first make six circles for the body of our caterpillar. So you're going to start at the very edge of your paper, either in the bottom or in the top, and you're going to begin to trace around your stencil. Make sure that you hold it right in the middle and you trace. You're going to take it and you are going to connect the circle. So you don't want to trace right over here. This is going to be the body so it needs to connect. So you're going to take it and you're going to make sure that the two are touching. Hold it in the middle, take it, and trace. Step two, you're going to do this six times. Now make sure that you move it around like the caterpillar's moving or walking. So that's three. Make sure it's connecting. Four. Five. Six times. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make acute angles. So I'm actually gonna do this upside down so that you can see it. So you're gonna make the legs. I like to make these first for the legs on each circle. And then I like to make these little lines to make the feet. Now they need to all be pointing the same direction like he's walking. The next part is choosing which way you want your caterpillar to be facing. So I, since I have my feet going this way, I'm going to have this be my head. So I'm going to make my eyes two circles, the pupil and the iris, smile face. And the last part to this is making the antennas and then the texture of the caterpillar. So caterpillars are very hairy. So you're going to first make the antennas. And then you're going to go in and you're going to trace with a sharpie. Now when you do this, you want to be really careful and take your time. Try to go right over top of your pencil marks. This is called tracing. part is making that visual texture of the hair on the caterpillar. So you're going to go on each circle besides the head and you're going to make lines coming off of the circle. Caterpillars are very furry so you want to make these lines to represent the fur, the hair. your caterpillar. 